public that Stephen Paddock checked in on the 28th when there's valet receipts and other receipts that show he checked in on the 25th. Don't you guys think that's, you know, misleading the public with false information? Excuse me, sir, do you have any comment? Are you going to tell us why there's receipts from that hotel that clearly show that he checked in on the 25th? And you guys are still telling the public he checked in on the 28th? Should we bounce? So, as you can see, these FBI agents who are now wearing jackets, and we saw them in the parking lot with FBI jackets on, they said no comment. We asked them, why is it? that you're telling the public that Stephen Paddock checked in on the 28th when receipts from valet and room service receipts show that he checked in earlier, as early as the 25th. They said no comment. So, as you can see, the FBI knows, you know, that people are onto them and they're choosing to not comment on the fact that there's, you know, evidence, photographic evidence that shows that they're intentionally misleading the public. So, you can see right there, they're, they're walking upstairs. <laughs> Four FBI agents. We saw them walk in in the parking lot, and uh, you know we were we were trying to get our own ticket, and they were putting their jackets on, but they were wearing shirts that said FBI, blue shirts with yellow letters. So, look, I mean, there's a full-scale cover-up happening here. We're inside the Mandalay Bay right now. We are inside, confronting FBI agents, and we're not going to stop. We're not gonna stop until we get answers. In fact, stay tuned, because I'm gonna show up to these press conferences as well, and I'm gonna make sure these people provide answers. Because it is reckless, it is irresponsible, it is disrespectful, and it's absolutely dangerous to the security of this country to mislead the public and provide false information regarding the shooter's check-in date. So, stay tuned, we're on the ground, we're inside Mandalay Bay right now, and we're gonna be providing you with live Continuous updates. This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world.